What's this? Why do you wear this? It's on your face. So what we're going to do, um, you two are all... Nicholas Conyos got into writing right after high school when attending the California Institute of the Arts. He was studying acting at the time and then decided to take a screenwriting class. I love stories and as a performer you get to tell those stories and I realized after doing it so much I, I realized hey I can, I can do this too and so from acting to improv uh, and then to sketch comedy I realized that, that all that I'm doing is telling stories and so I wanted to be the one not just saying words that other people said, I want to be the one writing the words too. I wanted to tell my stories. Although balancing life and family is hard, Nicholas is still able to have his family be his main priority, as well as his support. What helps for me is my wife does it with me and we bring our babies, so it is, it is a family thing and you can bring that. You can bring your creativity and share it with your family. It makes it that much more rewarding. So, so yeah, I would say the best way to balance life Bring your life with you. That's the best way to do it. Some of Nicholas's favorite comedy writers are Tina Fey and Louis C.K. He enjoys their writing because they are writers who understand the aspect of performance and are able to be honest and fearless in their writing. I've asked Nicholas, what is the most rewarding thing after you've seen your own story played out? His reply? That's a really hard, hard question to answer. Um, you know, when you see people connect with something you've written, that's probably the best, and, and again, with sketch comedy, uh, there's been so many times when people have, you know, strangers have passed me either down the street, on campus, or outside of campus being like, you were the guy who did that thing, that was so funny, and probably the best is when people don't realize that you wrote the sketch they love the best. That's always great, because then you feel like it's a little more honest, but they're like, yeah, I went to that comedy show, this one was my favorite, and when it's one you wrote, it's just, I don't know, there's this kind of thing of pride when you can really make somebody laugh like that, it's really, really cool. One advice he gives to future writers is to write every day and you can't stop writing or be afraid. And asking him why create stories, his reply. Story, for whatever reason, I can't tell you why, it has the potential to impact you so much more. I could list you statistics about kids in Africa dying of malaria and AIDS and war, and that's not going to touch you. You really won't care. But if I could just, if I could write a dramatic account of what's actually happened of just one person, just one person's story, that's going to reach you so much more stronger. I, I feel like all of us as humans, we're like connected with this same invisible thread. And when you can tell a story, you can kind of pluck that thread to each other. So yeah, it's how we connect. It's, it's how we show ourselves to other people. I don't know why, but it's the best way to do that. Here in Rexburg, Idaho, Daniel Kemmer, BYUI.